We love it when you guys suggest things and you've got some straight deliciousness coming to you today, courtesy of, well, someone in Northeastern Pennsylvania. And that would be Aaron in Northeast Pennsylvania who writes, Hi Sam and crew, love to watch your show. The banter between you and the kids is great. The kids. <laughs> the kids. He's calling you the kids. I was watching your California style burrito the other day, love Mexican food, but my favorite is a burrito done San Jose style if you've never had one before. It's chicken and chorizo, which by the way we've done. My friend Greg Rempe claims he started this craze of a chori pollo combo he Greg didn't start. your secret boyfriend I, no he's you mentioned not him all the time well it's just we talk it's and i just the, I just did his thing you mentioned more than anybody else. bill grad nope not as much as your boyfriend my my, my wife kelly i mentioned her nope, more than not anybody as much as Rempe. if you've never had uh, one before it's chicken and chorizo on a bed of refried beans with a white cheese sauce i think it sounds fantastic keep the suggestions coming sometimes we do them just like this for aaron in nipa Northeastern Pennsylvania. I'm sure that's not their accent. Do they have an accents in Pennsylvania? Yeah. Dutch. Well, They no. sound Dutch because they're all Amish. Isn't that true? Are you Amish? Well, I guess maybe he wouldn't watch this if he was Amish. In any case, here's the plan. We make a cheese sauce. We make some refried beans, cheater style. We cook some chorizo. We get some chicken happening. Grill the chicken, make the burrito, put it all together, squish, bite, eat. See ya. Sound good? Refried beans begin here, and they're going to start with some bacon. Because, because sometimes it's nice to add a little smoky note to your refried beans. Look, there are no rules. Do what you want. I've diced that up pretty small. So let a little bit of the fat come out of that for about a minute. And when it has, it goes some finely diced onion with a bit of a splatter. Some fanfare, we call it. Yeah, remember the splatter and the pork belly egg sandwich? Oh, my God. Yes, I do. Oh! What the hell? That was insane. All right, while this is starting to soften a little bit, let's begin with our cheese sauce by melting some butter. We're gonna add a little garlic. Let those two just, you know, come together. That's what I meant. And when they smell great, we'll put in a little milk and let that heat up. And when it does, we start putting in some cheese. This is American cheese, just not the orange one. The milk will heat the cheese, the cheese will start to melt, everybody will be happy. Not all at once though. We'll let that start to soften. Come back to our onions and bacon. One stir, very nice. Now we're gonna add our refried beans. So this is a can of pinto beans. I'm just gonna pour them into here. We wanna save the juice because it's gonna help thin this out. So now we do this, shake, then into our pot with the onions and the bacon. We stir and we let these start to soften for a couple minutes. In the meantime, we come back to our cheese sauce. Melting nicely, smelling beautiful too. So, a few more chunks of cheese now. American cheese really does melt beautifully. I mean, it's why it's the star of hamburgers and why it's making this a dream. Again, take your time, let it happen. Meanwhile, the beans are heating up a little bit. And on the other side, we can start our chorizo. And in we go. So, pork chorizo could be beef, could be Soy chorizo. Okay, just let that start to do its thing in a minute or so. In the meantime, our cheese sauce is ready for more cheese. The last of it. By the way, that was about a half of a pound of the American. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So we can season this a little bit, and I would do this. I would throw a little salt and pepper in. Not too much, because cheese is inherently salty. Could give it a little cumin. And I like the idea of throwing in a couple tablespoons of some green salsa, just for a little extra flavor. I did have the idea of putting in some hot sauce, some Cholula, but do you know what that red would do to this cheese sauce? It'd make it look like vomit. Beautiful. You know how that's gonna be on this burrito? Holy mother of God. All right. So the beans are now softening. Let's do this. Let's take a masher and start to give them some of this business. I like my refried beans a little bit chunky, so I won't mash all of them. If you want your smooth, you could put them in a processor if you want it. No one's gonna be mad at you. You know why? It's yours. You can make with it as you want. So now a little bit of the liquid that we saved back. Beautiful. So this liquid now will start to soften the beans even more and we'll come back. But the beans are essentially done. The cheese sauce is there. I can take it off and let it cool a bit and the Chorizo needs another just a couple minutes. 
but I can tend to this, I can tend to the beans, I can tend to the cheese sauce. Tell you what, let's go deal with our chicken now, shall we? What are those? Quick. Chicken thighs. Thank you. I deboned them myself. Couldn't find a... The store was out of a boneless, skinless. So check this out. I think this will be fun. This is a mayo. And we know that mayo is not just a good binder, but it's a lubricant, right? It works like butter, works like oil. So why not? So I'm going to do this fairly simple. I have here what was fajita seasoning. And you know it's fajita seasoning because it says fajita. I wrote it on there. It used to be onion powder. So obviously some version that I made once. But you could use anything. If I didn't do this, it could be, you know, cumin, garlic powder, smoked paprika, cayenne, oregano, that sort of usual suspects version that I use. So we'll give these guys just a nice little bit here. And then we'll flip everybody over. Do the same thing. And when you got them all nice, and you got your business on them, we're gonna pick them up, put them on the grill. And down we go. See the way it slides? That's because of the mayo, and I sprayed it first. Don't be afraid of the grill spray, folks. There's no reason for it. I do not want it sitting on top of a flame. So when it does, just give it a little push. It was super hot because I want this, I want a nice little char flavor, texture. It's all good. Unlike chicken breast, thighs you can cook a little more. Get these up to about 175 and you'll be fine. Let's have a look at this guy. Nice. So give him a little... 45 or 90, what was that? I just don't know. You're giving it a 45, but you were saying 90? I don't know what I was saying. I, you corrected me or somebody no, corrected me. Did. Somebody... I think you said like someone came up to you in a store. Yes, you and schooled it. me. And we flip. Oh, mother effer. Fantastic. All right, just let him finish. Just let them finish. I proclaim these ready, off they come, and we can build. That's it, so let's cut these guys up. Shitty towel. I don't know how that happens, man. Oh, look at this beautiful chicken. Gorgeous! Ah. Oh, boys. I'm telling you, we're gonna be really happy that Aaron from Northeastern Pennsylvania wrote us. All right, let me clean that off, get a tortilla, and we build. And there's our tortilla blanket, and it's down. Here's how we're doing this. We've never had this, we're taking Aaron's advice. Bed of refried beans first. We might as well make it a proper size one, right? Next, we'll go chorizo, then our chicken. Gorgeous! It's gonna be a... It's gonna be a heavy weight, two chicken thighs, why not? Almost there, two things left. One is our amazing cheese sauce that I've been eating. Oh my God, beautiful. You know, we were wondering if this is what Aaron meant, cheese sauce inside as opposed to over the top, but we're doing this, because this is what we want. Okay, a little bit more. How's that look, good? Oh yeah. And now some cilantro, and I'm going with a nice amount because I want to. All right, so in we go, and we roll. Oh my God. What do we think? Looking great. Who knows? Who knows how we've done? Only thing left to do is cut this little fellow like this. And we open. Oh. Lordy, lordy. Look at that beautifulness. I love it when you can see your defined layers. It, it pulls you in. If it's all one same look, then that's not so ex exciting, but this. Oh, and there's some heft to it too, boy. Let's just, let's just get in here and get going, shall we? And we're there. It's got some weight. Mm. Listen, two of my favorite things in the Mexican food world are refried beans and chorizo. It had me at hello right from the start. And now you've got the charred chicken, which is the way to do it, and that luscious cheese sauce in there. Just snap. Freaking great. Aaron, thank you. We appreciate this. The boys will appreciate this in a second. A little bit of heat in here that I'm really loving. All right, thanks for hanging out. Send us your suggestions. We love to make them, don't we? Yeah. Because we're running out of ideas. Comment below. Yeah, yeah, that's the place to do it. <laughs>